All right, party people, welcome to the Halloween episode, where I've got Espion and Umbreon with me, because we're opening up this. And aside from the Charizard, I'm hoping to, to pull one of these two. Yep. But I can't keep these guys stable on me the whole episode, I don't think. Oh, maybe. Nope, nope. All right. So I'm going to chuck them back there on the bed, on that pile of clothes. All right. So... I'm kind of annoyed because I already did a take of this, but the audio didn't work, so that's annoying. It's working now, though, so stay working. Okay. Again, Hidden Fates Charizard tin. Uh, just like the last tin we opened, uh, the Raichu tin. I got this at my local game store and overpaid grossly for it. $44.99. But it's got magical friendship powers as a result, so it's going to have good stuff inside. And then we're going to open up two more things, um, and if the video isn't long enough to my liking, we're going to open up uh, probably another double view box looking for, looking for that Charizard. Um, and the story is that I went to Walmart the other day, not the other day, yesterday, uh, and I was, this was the Walmart where I got four double V-Boxes. I bought them out. And... This is a Walmart that usually stocks on Fridays, I believe, and nobody else goes there. Nobody, None of the scalpers know about it, so it's basically like a safe haven for me getting Pokemon cards. Like, they had a stack of six boxes of Hidden Fates one time, and I'm just like, it was a good day. <laughs> um, they just have stuff sitting there, untouched, uncorrupted, uh, and I get to take it. Um, they had not stocked, unfortunately, uh, since I had been there last. And I had to drive a half hour there and a half hour back before work. I was not leaving empty-handed. So, I had to ask some people, are these any good? They claim vintage pack seated 1 through 5. Uh, fossil pack, that's cool. But what's got me going is they claim you can pull EX Legend Maker and EX Power Keeper booster packs in here. Uh, I was told a more if I like uh, Platinum Arceus boosters to go for it, which, hey, a pack of that is worth 60 bucks, and I'll take that. I'll take that all day, Gen 3 and 4. Uh, I'm more towards Gen 3, obviously. Uh, or, not obviously, I haven't discussed my backstory yet, but we'll get there. <laughs> uh... Power Keepers and Legend Maker. Uh, let's dip into the backstory a little bit, I guess. Uh, we couldn't really get a lot of boosters when I was growing up as a kid. I did a lot of Gen 3, but we couldn't afford Pokemon cards a lot. I, ever, I only ever got, like, a few booster packs across various sets. Like, I got a booster pack every set, on average. Um, and it was almost never anything good, so... If I pull a Gen 3 set or a Gen 4 set booster, I don't think I'm going to be opening it. Unfortunately, I was told with this newest wave of mystery power boxes at Walmart, the vintage pack is Evolutions, which would at least right now be good, but it's not vintage, or Breakpoint. These are not vintage packs. I mean, yes, Evolutions is spiking, but... It's already listed as being one of the boosters you can pull normally. Like, these are advertising a pack of Evolution, Celestial Storm, Sword and Shield, Cosmic Eclipse, and Unified Minds, and then another mystery item. <laughs> I, I don't know <laughs> what the deal is here. But, alright. So, the plan is, I'm going to open these up, and then if I pull something really good, I'm keeping it sealed. Um... Gonna open this bad boy up, hopefully get Charizard, Espeon, or Umbreon. And then if I haven't made a video long enough for my liking, uh, I'm gonna grab a double V-Box, crack that son of a gun open, and see if we can't get the Charizard. Alright. Let's hop into it! Mystery Power Box, number one. Why well, I need to grab a knife? 
These are kind of tightly sealed. Hmm. Can I have scissors in here? Or... Oh, my car! Uh, uh, which is... Oh, no, not the headphones. I don't want the headphones. I just want the key. Thank you. Coincidentally, on a Charizard keychain. Alright. This ought to make things quicker. Sort of snake it in here. I'm trying not to destroy the whole box, you know. There we go. Let's just slide it in there. There we go. All right. All right. I like how this is a product that you really have to open to get the value out of. Mystery Power Box. I've never opened one of these Pokemon Mystery Power Boxes before. Um, so let's go through it piece by piece together, shall we? I'm not going to look inside. I'm just going to grab a, grab a piece and pull it out. An Evolutions Pack! Alright! That's a really good start here. And I think we're going to open that pack. Oh, I just looked inside an accident. This is all I saw, though, aside from a code card, which I'm going to keep. Darkness Ablaze. So these are really, really new. Um, I keep the code cards because I actually play the TCG online. Um, I'm going to take that. <laughs> you guys don't want it anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover the code up. But I'm going to show you what set it's for. Eh. See if we can get that in focus. But you can probably already read it already. Eh. Steam Siege. It, it's, it's Steam Siege. Alright. Cosmic Eclipse. Alright. That's another good one. Darkness Ablaze, Evolutions, Cosmic Eclipse. Alright, so it's like they're all in Upside Down. Sword and Shield base set. And then... I guess this really is, like, as advertised. Well, except for the Darkness Ablaze one. And then our extra item is a card. It's a hollow magic card from Hidden Fates. <laughs> oh boy. Well, it's our first pull of the day, so we're going to get hollows. And then we've got a Pikachu coin. Well, coins are cool. Alright. If this were a Twitch stream, it'd be real nice to ask the chat right now if I should open the packs or if I should open the next mystery box and then just open all the packs. I think I want to open the packs though. And I'm not going to keep the Evolutions pack here sealed, I think. Uh, I think I'm just going to crack it um, because I've been told by the experts you can't weigh these so that I can go like searching for the hollow. Just like, does this have the Zard? Um, unless it's from the same box as a bunch of others. So they'll all, like, register different weights and stuff. Um, so I can't, like, figure out if this has a hollow or not inside and then just keep it sealed as, like, a non-hollow pack for $10 or whatever. So I'm just going to have to crack it and hope that it's good. All right, so... With that, we've already got a pull for Hidden Fates. Um, but I think I'm just going to put everything in one pile. Let's get let, let's start with the packs. Let's get Steam Siege out of the way. What a disappointment. For as much as I'd like to kind of keep that sealed code card over there. It was 
four from the back for Steam Siege, right? Amoongus. The Fungus Amoongus. Get in focus, please. Get in focus, please. Why why is my camera so bad today? I know it's I know it's usually bad, but like this is this is next level atrocious camera work. Come on. There we go. Okay, so it's only three from the back, I guess, because there's our rare. It's not hollow. Alright. Anerith, just messing with the pile here real quick. What is with the glare? Can, can we get rid of the glare? My god. Uh, Persian. Claw Fossil Anerith. Sneasel. Oh. Do you guys see the little foil on the top of that card? C dot. Is this a good Steam, Steam Siege pack? Drifloon. Apom. Mankey. Driftblim. Hollow. I was gonna say, we already got our rare. So, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> That's some crazy hollow bleed, man, my dude. Alright. We're gonna save evolutions for last. Uh, yeah. Sword Shield base set next. If the white code card theory is correct, we have something. Lightning energy. Pokemon Center Lady. Energy retrieval. Get in focus, please. Farothorn. Chinchow. Krogunk. Galarian Meowth. Come on, stay in focus. Score Bunny. Sinistee. Hollow Rhyperior. What's that? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh. I know this is the cheap one, but my goodness, I've been looking for a Zacian forever. Oh, my sword doggo. Oh. Oh my goodness. Is this, oh my, oh, yes. I'm so happy with that. I have gone so many packs of Sword and Shield without a Zacian. There are three Zacians in the set. And I haven't pulled a single one. I haven't pulled the gold, obviously, because it's the rarest. I haven't pulled the secret rare, because that's a secret rare. I haven't even pulled the normal V-card. I can't tell you how many Cramorants and, and Tapacocos and all this other crap I have, I, I have pulled. Not a single Zacian. No longer. My boy. Puppy come home. Puppy come home. First pull of the day. Let's go. I'm feeling good about that. Alright. I'm almost as happy about that as the shiny Alolan Ninetales from last week's video. Alright, Cosmic Eclipse, let's go. Water energy. Water energy. There we go. Cricketoon. Curlia. Bisharp. Flabibi. Tangela. Duskull. Temple. Pip up. Hollow Rockruff, he's so cute, all sleepy and curled up. Lunala Hollow Foil. Ooh. That looks cool. Blessing of the Moon. That's a pretty cool ability. Selective Ramp. 
I'm gonna put that in the pulse pile. But you only get a score bunny sleeve. Alright. Darkness ablaze. White code card theory. Show us what you got. I want to see what you got. Fighting energy. Vibrava. Get in focus, please. Get in focus, please. Get in focus, please. I. Nobody can read. There we go. Gotharita. Get in focus, please. I I I need a new setup, please. I I, I need to upgrade from this crap. Alright. Pokemon Breeders Nursing. Go it. Vanillite. Trapinch. Teddy Ursa. Panseer. Reverse Hollow Flaffy and Salamence V Max. Yo, all right. Salamence V Max. I love Salamence. We've pulled a normal Salamence V, but not a V Max, and that—that that is nice. That is really nice. We have gotten. A, a, a Lunala Reverse Hollow, a Zashian V, and now a Salamence V Max out of this box. And even the Steam Siege pack had me thinking for a sec. This, this, this has been pretty good, pretty good uh, Mystery Power Box, even if it didn't yield any, any, uh, any actual results. Evolutions pack now. Can we get the Charizard that everybody wants? The Charizard that I was going to spec into. We got a green code card, so I don't think so. Three from the back, I think, and then do a little switcheroo action. Is that how this works? Coughing. Misty's Determination, Revive, Onyx, and then the whole spike action happened. Fairy Energy, Voltorb, Tangela, Poliwag, Farfetch'd, Reverse Hollow Revive, and that's it. It's a Reverse Hollow Revive. Alright. Farfetch'd was the rare. Alright, so with that, it's time to open the next Mystery Power Box. And see what we get before opening up the Hidden Face Charizard tin. Yeah, I don't think we're going to open up the double V. I don't think we're going to open up a double V box in this video. <laughs> I think we've got enough enough content. Enough time on the clock here, especially when last week's video went 55 minutes. That's way too long. What the hell? Could you? Could you not? Oh God damn! I'm just. What the? Oh, there we go. Alright, I'm just going to take off the plastic from the bottom. Uh, 
All right. Second mystery power box. And I'm going to try to not reveal any items to myself this time. We have, oh, a Sun and Moon base set pack. Hopefully I can get an Espeon or Umbreon out of that at least. We have another Steam Siege pack. We have another Cosmic Eclipse pack. That's nice. We have a Darkness Ablaze pack. We have a Sword and Shield base set pack. And that's all the base set packs we have. We have a Reverse Hollow Star U from Hidden Fates. Mmm! There's a code card for a Flygon EX box in here. Covering the code there. You can barely read that, but you can read that. And then, that's a spicy coin. What product was this last available in? Team Plasma coin, dude. Ooh. Let me get that real in focus. Nice. Team Mata Frigan Plasma. Alright, let's just open this up in chronicolo chronological order, which I think is roughly of most value to me. Obviously, Steam Siege is last. If I had someone offer me a, bo a booster box of Steam Siege for $40, I'd probably take it. Because, like, Long term, it's still a booster box of Pokemon cards, and eventually it's going to increase in value. But it's Steam Siege. Bastion. And I forgot that it's supposed to be three cards in this one again. Lampant. Gardevoir Spirit Link. Get in focus, please. Get in focus, please. Get in focus, please. Tank growth. Larvesta. Joltik. Tangela. Ponyard. Oshawott. And Meryl. Get in focus, please. Please clap. <laughs> Alright. Same energy. <laughs> I feel bad about having the same energy, but whatever. Need new cam. I'll put it on the to-do list eventually, right? Boom! Card trick works again. Poison barb. I don't know how the focus on this thing works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. When... Hey, there we go. Dragonair. Now it's kind of sideways, alright. Charger Bug. Pick a pack. Alolan Meowth. Grubbin. Firo. Oh, my pile's sort of falling off to the side. Makuhita. Oh, is that something good we got in the back? Alolan Dug Trio. Tauros GX. All right. And that is a full art, secret rare. I'll take it. Er. I think that's a secret rare. Is that the normal Tauros GX? I don't think so. I think that's a secret rare. I'm not sure. Either way, it's a nice pull, and I'll take it. You, sir. 
Dragon Shield. Its centering is kind of bad. You get the Dragon Shield with a dent in it then. Cosmic Eclipse. Let's see what we can pull. Yeah, what I will say about these uh, mystery power box, mystery power boxes, I think I think it's pretty obvious that the ones with the extra booster packs are weighed, um, if that's how they're inserted. Um, metal energy. Cause like if it, if that makes it a if the ex, if it really is just an extra item, that makes it a sixth booster, so it's super easy to weigh it, and then you get people taking them. <sighs> Torkoal, gloom, flow it. But what I also say, little in meow, is that our pulls have been phenomenal, even if the pack selection has not been the greatest. A simian with two packs of Steam Siege being thrown in here, come on. Shangmo. Clay Rowlet. Sphiel Reverse Hollow. And then a Raichu. Can we get in focus? I can't even tell if that's a hollow or not. It is a non-hollow Raichu. Alright. Bringing us to another Sword and Shield base set pack. Lightning energy. Corvus Squire. Corvus Squire, stay in focus. Galvantula. Galarian Lanoon. Goldeen. Rosalia. Ghastly. Ponyard, Sizzlipede, Reverse Hollow Pincurchin, Snorlax, non holographic, Darkness Ablaze. Last pack for the MJ Holdings Mystery Power Boxes. Metal Energy, Steamy, Fret, Yellhorn, Fletchling, Wimpod, Grimer, Clink, Ducklet, Reverse Hollow Area Dose, that looks cool, Volcarona. All right, and now. The friendship powers activate as I tear into a Charizard hidden fates tin. Will we find Espeon and Umbreon? Or Charizard even? Or will we go back to our luck of having nothing? I mentioned it a bit earlier, but that pull of Alolan Ninetales GX shiny, that's really been our, my only good pull from Hidden Fates. So there's the Charizard GX promo. 
we can get that in focus. There we go. Look at that boy. Look at him spike. Five bajillion percent profit. Alright. That stonks, baby. That stonks. Okay. We've got all four pack arts again, just like last week. And we're going to open them up in the same order. At least what I think I remember to be the same order. The birds, Mew, Mewtwo, Shiny Charizard. Right, let's get this promo in a sleeve. Since it's only a promo though, you know, you can get them a dime a dozen. At least I think you can get them a dime a dozen. It is the Charizard one, so it could be worth significantly more just because it's Charizard. Got to follow the Charizard law. Oh, let's get it in there. Let's get this tin shut. Uh, let me empty a top loader real quick. Where did that get set? Because, yeah, this does not need to be in a top loader. This is a pretty good condition top loader. Just in case we pull anything really good, Ugh, I need to have a top loader. Because these apparently spiked in, in cost, and it's now like a trillion dollars for two top loaders. So, I ran out of top loaders, so... Yeah. First pack of Hidden Fates. All right. Water energy. How does this pile keep getting over there? Brock's Grit, Chansey, Graveler, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Pikachu, Ekans, Coughing, Reverse Hollow Psychic Energy, Erica's Hospitality, and that's it. I'm kind of disappointed there, but hey, I'll take the Reverse Hollow Psychic Energy. Put that in a sort of low tier sleeve. Alright. Three packs remain. Well, I hope that's a sign. Oh, I like what that looked like. Ladies and gentlemen, we might have something. I don't know what, but something. Darkness Energy. Misty Cerulean City Gym, Brock's Peter City Gym, Metapod, and then we have this Charmander that I saw at the start of opening the pack. Alright. Clefairy. Psyduck. Magikarp. Staryu. Bill's Analysis, Reverse Hollow, and Starmie GX. <sighs> Got my hopes up. It's okay. I deserve disappointment. Some of us just deserve to be sad. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. 
There's still two packs left. And here's one of them. This box, or this tin, has friendship powers. And it's a Charizard tin. We're gonna get something, right? Right? We, we opened the... I opened the Gyarados box. I've opened two packs off the internet. Uh, I opened the tin from the last video. That first video on the channel. And uh, now I'm opening this. That adds up to a total of 14 booster packs. Surely our pull rate is not 1 for 14 in a set that just has a literal second set in it dedicated to pulls, right? Right? Card trick. Lightning energy. Scyther. Jinx. Get in focus, please. Magmar. Ekans. Charmander. It's a sign. That's our second Charmander. Psyduck. Magikarp. Staryu. Frogadier. That's a, that's a shiny, dude. And Brock's training hollow. Shiny Frogadier. I hope that's not a shiny for the whole tin, my dude. Just, that's, that's not, oh my god. That's Powder Puff. Come on. Looks to be in pretty good shape, though, at least. All right. Last pack. Hidden Fates. Arguably, one of the greatest Pokemon sets ever made. Though it may be new. Only released last year. One of the greatest sets ever made. What is our fate today, ladies and gentlemen? What is our fate? Fairy energy. I know I know you can focus a little better than that, please. Slowly drift back. There we go. Alright. Giovanni's Exile. Koga's Trap. Lieutenant Surge's Strategy. Voltorb. Pikachu. Focus. Okay. Jigglypuff. Ekans. Coughing. Reverse Hollow Magmar. Blaine's Last Stand. This box did not have friendship powers. And I should have kept it sealed. <laughs> oh! That's just what happens sometimes when you play the game. You play with fire. You might get burned. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's video. Let me know what you want to see next time. I'll probably open up another box of Hidden Fates. Um, yeah, this is coming out Friday the 30th, I believe. I think it's the 30th this Friday. 
Um, yeah, when you're seeing this. I've recorded this on Tuesday. Uh, I'll be going to the LGS I get these tins from on Friday, I believe. When I get a big check uh, from work. Uh, just kidding, it's a normal size check and it's very underwhelming, but for me it's money. Uh, I might be picking up some, some nifty singles. And by nifty, I mean big money base set unlimited. Um, big three. Something I've never done before. Because uh, they're very underpriced at the moment. I'm just going to be checking the condition, and if it's good, I'm going to send it. And if they're not good, I'm going to just buy another Hidden Fates tin. And we'll probably open it up for next week's video. Um, yeah, I got a mess to clean up down here. <laughs> I've got a lot in my closet. I was really hoping to pull one of the Gen 3 boosters, but I guess that's getting my hopes up way too high. The Farfield Company, unlike MJ Holdings, did not know to keep their, uh, their Gen 3 stuff in tow. Because, hang on a second. I rolled the dice on a $6 mystery box that I didn't, I didn't even know if it was going to be Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, what have you. Just a bunch of random collectibles. That was inside it, ladies and gentlemen. This Pop Series 1 pack was inside of it. Now, I know it's only like $20 a pack, um, but it's still Gen 3, and it's still a big deal to me. When I found that, I was losing my, losing my mind. Uh... I spent six dollars on the box. Uh, yeah, um, the Farfield Company is making boxes that you can just pull a Pop Series pack in. I don't know if it's only Pop Series one or the worthless ones. I don't know if they're aware that Pop Series five is worth three hundred dollars, uh, and if they've jammed them in there. Uh, uh, that said, if I find more of these mystery boxes, I'm getting them. Uh, I did not find another Pop Series pack in the other one that I bought. Uh, they've got like a miscellaneous assortment of stuff to collect in them. Um, here's today's polls, just a quick review. Frogadier, Starmie, get in focus, the Psychic Energy, the Charizard GX uh, promo, Tauros, Salamence VMAX, Lunala, and then the Zacian V. So, really, really, I'm not too disappointed. Too disappointed with anything. We did get a shiny, so I mean, that could help pay for everything, you know. If I get it graded and it comes up, comes back back at ten or something, you know. Uh, I got the Zacian, so I'm happy. Salamence V Max. I love Salamence. Uh, Gen 3 Dragon Boy. But yeah, like, I'm not opening this, because, uh, the cards inside are worth, like, at best $4 more than the pack. Like, what's the point of opening a Gen 3 pack to me if it's not worth it? Um, similarly, if I ever got, like, Sandstorm booster packs, I'd probably keep them sealed. Because... <laughs> pack of sandstorm sealed is worth more than a pack of or worth more than its best cards in mint condition like I, I've gone on TCG player and it's like wow um, yeah that's um kind of worthless <laughs> uh, but I love gen 3 my dude I just I love gen 3 so much gen 3 boy and then gen 4 just like You got to keep everything with Gen 3 in the Game Boy Advance slot of your DS, and then play Gen 4 on the DS, and send things over via the National Park and stuff, and that was cool. I'm just, I'm just rambling now. The video's over. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to hit subscribe, ring the bell, yada yada. Bye.